Now, after benchmarking the Asus Republic of Gamers Zephyrus G14 from 2023, my first impressions were a little bit of disappointment. Not sure if you knew this, but it comes with an unoccupied RAM stick, meaning there's 16 gigs soldered to the motherboard, and then you can add an extra stick. And that's what I'm about to do. I'm plugging in the 32 gig stick, I'm gonna run some benchmarks and see if we can get better results than the 2022 model. Because so far, based on my findings, it's no better than 2022. Let's check it out. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening, actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. All right, now I've added the extra RAM stick to the unoccupied slot inside of the Zephyrus G14. We now have 32 gigs of RAM. We had a soldered 16 and I added a 16 from Sabrent. This is the point at which we see incredible increase in results from this laptop. Now in Photoshop alone, we saw almost 300 points in increased performance, showing that the real bottleneck in this system was not the new GPU, from a creator standpoint, talking video editing, graphic design, photography, digital art, it's the RAM. The GPU is plenty powerful for the uses that we need. For instance, inside of video editing, you can see that we had a better results by going from 16 to 32. Initially, the results I was very disappointed with. On 4K video editing, the export time was three minutes and nine seconds with 16 gigs of RAM. Now with 32 gigs of RAM, I was able to redeem about 30 seconds worth of export time at two minutes and 41 seconds, much more aligned with last year's model. Now again, we're not beating last year's model yet. As you look at 6K B-RAW, when getting to 32 gigs of RAM, we had a 14 minute and 52 second export time compared to last year's model, which had around a 13 minute export time. Now I have a full head to head video of the Asus Zephyrus G14 from 2022 and 2023 from a 16 gig comparison standpoint. But of course this is the video with the 16 gig upgrade making this a laptop that has 32 gigs of RAM. Now as we look at After Effects, this is another area that really benefited from upgraded RAM. However, we were not able to see a 300 point increase in performance. We did see a 140 point increase in performance. So definitely upping the RAM for After Effects is effective. Now the one area I didn't see much change was in 3D modeling. I was hoping to see some more changes, but it was honestly nominal. Really with 3D modeling, you were going to see the biggest performance boost from getting a higher performance GPU. However, it won't hurt your performance by any stretch of the imagination. So if you wanna go ahead and get the 4060 and add the extra RAM stick, it will definitely increase your overall user experience within the program because you won't be bottlenecking your system with the RAM. However, I would recommend the 4070 or the 4090 version if you're a serious 3D modeler, as those GPUs are gonna give you much better performance out of the G14 inside of 3D modeling programs. Now, jumping back into video editing, one area that really made a difference with RAM was 6K B-RAW. When I tested it with 16 gigs of RAM, it had 624 drop frames 
out of 16,177 in the project. And then when I upgraded to 32 gigs of RAM, we had only 44 drop frames. We almost are at zero drop frames with 6K B-RAW. Now looking at 6K red footage, we went from 712 drop frames to 111 drop frames. So almost the exact same difference as far as the percentage of drop frames that decreased. Now, this was really interesting. If we looked at 8K B-RAW, I'm starting to run 8K tests here on the channel. And for 8K B-RAW, we only dropped 6,000 frames out of the 16,177. Now, this is amazing because two years ago, for 6K B-RAW, we were dropping about that amount of frames, if not more. So to see that we're now at 8K and we are able to only drop 6,000 frames is amazing. This is an RTX 4060 with a Ryzen 9 7940HS and 32 gigs of RAM. And you can edit 8K footage on this laptop. Now, if you're gonna be editing red 8K footage, you're still gonna be struggling quite a lot because we're well over the halfway point of drop frames at 10,536 out of 16,177 in the project. So I would definitely be looking for, like I said, a 4070 or a 4090 if you're looking at bigger, either video resolutions or graphical processing, uh, for instance, like 3D modeling. So that would be my recommendation. However, if you're a 4K or 6K video editor, if you're somebody working in photography or graphic design, I would definitely get the base model of this laptop with the RTX 4060 and the Ryzen 9 7940 HS. I would order it with 16 gigs of RAM and then get a RAM stick like from, I don't know, same Brit or somebody like that and go ahead and upgrade it to 32 gigs of RAM and you will get the most out of this laptop. When it comes from the factory, it's a little bottlenecked from the single channel RAM. So you definitely wanna make that upgrade. Click or tap the screen here if you wanna check out more videos about the Zephyrus G14 or other popular laptops coming out in 2023. And also links in the description below if you wanna make a purchase of the G14 or check out some Sabrent RAM. And of course, when you do use those links, I get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. I'll see you guys here in the next video.